the document that you're looking at is called a degree audit. A degree audit is a tool that the campus provides to you and advisors on campus to help you monitor your progress towards the completion of a degree. Information on the audit includes any in-progress courses that you're currently enrolled into, your general education requirements, the campus distribution of content requirements, any pre-professional requirements that your department may require, the HES college requirements, your professional program requirements, those required for your major, elective courses, and courses for which no credit was earned. What I'll be taking you through today is how to request a degree audit through MyZoo and then how to read your degree audit so that you can use it as a tool with your advisor to make sure that you're taking the courses required for your major. The easiest way to request a degree audit is through your student center in MyZoo. In order to do so, you can click on the link here, request degree audit, and typically you'll be prompted to input your paw print and your password. Once you do so, you'll see a screen that looks like this. When you're on the audit page, the default program that will be listed will be your current degree program. If you're interested in running an audit for your current major, you can choose the output as PDF so that it's a printable version, and then you can click Submit a new audit request. If you're interested in looking into a new program, you can click Run Selected Program, choose the semester that you plan to change your major, and then choose the program that you're interested in studying. These programs are listed alphabetically by college, so we're in the College of Human and Environmental Sciences, HES, and then also alphabetically by department. So I'm interested in looking into a pre-nutrition and fitness degree. Once you've selected your program, you can click View Output as PDF and then Submit a New Audit Request. When you come to the screen like this, the audits listed on the bottom will be those that you've run before today. Usually they last, they stay on there for about a week. You can delete those if you want to eliminate any confusion. And then once your audit is ready, it will um, have, it'll appear and it'll have a button that says open audit. So you can go ahead and click that button and open your degree audit. The audit can look a little intimidating when you first open one, but reading the audit can be simple once you understand a few key points. First, the order of um, information on the audit starts with your in-progress courses. Those will be listed very first. Then you'll see any courses that you've already completed, the grades that you earned for those courses, the credit hours that you earned, And then the audit goes into university requirements such as English 1000, college algebra, the math reasoning proficiency requirement, your writing intensive requirements, and any distribution of content, your biological, mathematical, physical sciences, your social behavioral sciences, and then your humanities. Then if your program has any pre-professional requirements, such as the requirements for pre-nutrition and fitness, those will be listed next followed by the College of HES Foundation course requirements. And then you'll get to a list of your professional program requirements. Listed at the very bottom of the audit will be your general electives and then any courses that you've taken that you haven't earned credit for. That could be courses that you've repeated, courses that you've earned a, a F or lower in, um, courses that you've withdrawn from, or courses such as intermediate algebra. As you look through your audit, what you'll notice is that courses that say no next to them or have a minus with an R next to it, those will be bolded and those are courses that you haven't yet completed. Any course that you have completed will have an R with a plus sign next to it or you will see the word OK listed next to it. 
So for example here, the communication requirement has OK listed next to it and an R with a plus sign. That tells you you've completed the course. Listed underneath it will be the courses that you took to complete that requirement as well as your grades for those courses. Before you complete a requirement, the great thing about the audit is that it will tell you exactly what courses can be used to fulfill that specific requirement. For example, here you see the general education, distribution of content, biological, physical, mathematical sciences, and beneath that you'll see you need nine credit hours from two different groups. Then you're given a list of courses that you can use to fulfill that requirement. As you complete each requirement, the audit collapses on itself, so it gets shorter and shorter the closer you are to graduating. On the very last page of the audit, you'll see a key for all of the various symbols that you'll see throughout. Um, so as a reminder, anything that says OK is a requirement that's complete. If you see a no, it's a requirement that's not complete. An R with a plus sign is a sub requirement that's complete and an R with a minus sign is a sub-requirement that's not complete. The audit is most useful if you print it out about once per semester and use it in your planning with your advisor. If you bring it with you to your advising session, you and your advisor can compare notes to see which courses you've already completed and how close you are to graduating. If you have any questions at all about how to read the audit, feel free to contact your advisor or stop into the HES Student Services Office. We'd be happy to help.